Hello everyone and welcome to video 263. This is Noah. I'm Bill. Today we are reading This Moose Belongs to Me by Oliver Jeffers. Goodbye. Oh, good job remembering, but it's hi. 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 Wow, he's so close to doing it all by himself now. That's so awesome, guys. So awesome. You don't know how proud I am of this guy. Hmm. This Moose Belongs to Me by Oliver Jeffers Wilfred owned a moose. He hadn't always owned a moose. The moose came to him a while ago and he knew, just knew, that it was meant to be his. Marcel. The moose's name is Marcel. He thought he would call him Marcel. He began following Marcel explaining the rules of how to be a good pet. Much of the time, it seemed as though the moose wasn't listening, but Wilfred knew he was, mostly because he followed Rule 4 very well, not making too much noise while Wilfred plays his record collection. Sometimes the moose wasn't a very good pet. He generally ignored Rule 7, going where, whichever way Wilford wants to go. The moose had a very good sense of direction, and Wilford did not. And because the moose was particularly poor on Rule 7, subsection 6, Maintaining a certain proximity to home, Wilford quickly learned to bring some strings along on their outings so he could find his way back again. Sometimes the moose was an excellent pet. He had no trouble with Rule 11, providing shelter from the rain. Or Rule 16, knocking down things that are out of Wilford's reach. One day, as Wilford discussed their plans for the coming year on a particularly long walk, he made a terrible discovery. Someone else thought she owned the moose. Rodrigo, you're back. Wilford was dumbstruck. This moose was Marcel, not Rodrigo. The old lady was mistaken, and Wilford thought it only proper that he correct her. This moose belongs to me, he explained. And to prove it, he called Marcel. Heel. But the moose did not respond. He seemed more interested in the old lady. Good, Rodrigo, said the old lady. Fine. Embarrassed and enraged, Wilford rushed off for home. But in his haste, in miles from anywhere, he tripped over his string and got tangled up. And there he lay. Wilford was beginning to get a little bit worried. It was getting late and the monsters would be out soon. He had just ruled out 
the last of his options. No problem, thanks. When along came the moose. And performed Rule 73 brilliantly, rescuing your owner from perilous situations. All was forgiven, and perhaps Wilford admitted he never really owned the moose anyway. With that in mind, he and the moose reached a compromise. The moose would agree to all of Wilford's rules. Whenever it suited him. Dominic, you're back, and you brought me an apple. That was This Moose Belongs to Me by Oliver Jeffers. Well, anyways, guys, like always, I hope you enjoyed the book. Um, uh, please subscribe to our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube channels. Go to nosegear.com. Check it out. Let us know what you think. As you can see, we, uh, we have tr are trying out a, a new format for our videos. Um, we are trying to do a uh, just a reading of the book um, so you can see the book as, as it's being read. And, uh, but he's the star of the show, so I want you to, <laughs> I want you to be able to see him every day, okay? Because I know he loves seeing you guys. Um, we're going to try to go live maybe tomorrow. Um, life has gotten kind of hectic lately. Um, but it really helps us out if you, uh, if you do comment and like and share and subscribe. All those things really helps us on our, on our social media, so... Um, there's all sorts of algorithms and everything else that these social media places do. And they give priority to to channels that, um, that get lots of interaction, lots of likes, lots of sharing, that sort of thing. So um, it would mean a lot to us if you could do that. That'd be great. Um, but anyways, um, I hope you have a good weekend. Today's Friday, but um, I hope you have a... Um, good weekend, but we'll see you tomorrow, I'm sure. Um, so, so take care, and we'll see you then. Say bye. Say bye. No, let's say bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> You're doing great, buddy. See ya.